In this video, we show you what we found to be the best way to clean rubber stamps after engraving. If you've ever engraved stamp rubber, especially in any kind of volume, then you know what a pain it is to clean it off. We make a lot of rubber stamps every day, so finding the fastest and most effective way to clean the rubber was critical to us. I think most people would tell you that you just need to wash the rubber off after engraving. Uh, duh. Duh. Sure, that will work, but it's a real pain. Adding water to the rubber dust makes a nasty sludge. If you're doing it that way, you better make sure you're doing it in an industrial sink. Our method avoids the sludge and works well when making just one or a lot of stamps. After you've engraved your rubber, the first step is to blow the dust off with compressed air. The issue is that this rubber dust tends to get everywhere. If you don't do that much engraving, you can take the rubber outside to blow it off. We used to do that, but we were doing it so much, our parking lot started to look like the surface of the moon, and the rain didn't wash it away either. We also didn't like having to take the rubber outside in bad or cold weather. Our solution was to use a sandblasting cabinet that we slightly modified. We cut a piece of acrylic to use as a smooth, flat bottom for it so that the rubber sheets would lay flat. An air gun that was connected to a compressor with a quarter inch coiled hose was run into the cabinet. We also connected a standard woodworking dust collector to the cabinet. So after engraving the rubber, the sheets go into the cabinet to be blown off. The vast majority of the rubber dust gets sucked out of the cabinet and collected in a dust bag that can be emptied as needed. The sheets then get washed. We still do this differently than you might expect. We don't have an industrial sink here. We also don't have any sink near our production floor, so we've had to adapt. We use a spray bottle to get just enough water on the rubber and agitate it with a brush. Then the dirty water is blotted and wiped off the rubber with a microfiber towel. The towels are machine washed every so often. The rubber sheets are dried before they are moved on to the next phase of the production process. An advantage to cleaning the rubber this way, besides not needing a sink, is that the rubber isn't dripping wet. We can therefore get them dried a lot faster, which speeds up our production time. Thanks for watching. Let us know in the comments what you think and if you have a better way of cleaning rubber. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to get notified of future projects. We have more videos coming soon. Stay tuned.